All right, so I have now for the for the mask here this mask builder plugged in, and if I uh, hold Alt and left mouse click, I can see what's going on here. So the uh, everywhere that it's black, the paint layer is going to be transparent, and everywhere that it's white, the paint layer is going to be opaque, which is actually the exact opposite of what I'm looking for, because this is going to mean the paint is only showing up on the edges. Where in fact what I want is the paint to be showing up on the flat stuff and the metalness to be on the edges. So what I'm going to do is hop back over to the mask builder and then just click this little invert toggle there. So that gets us something that's a lot closer to what it is that we're looking for. Uh, there's these blotchy things on there which are okay but this is not actually the best way uh, for, for me to go about getting the surface variation that I will ultimately want here. So that's controlled by this grunge tab. So I'm just going to kind of walk that back. So we get a nice clean little edge wear there, but not too much else going on. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and add that surface variation in in just a moment. But before that, I kind of want to tune the mask builder. If I go to the curvature here, I'm going to get a few sliders that'll help me tighten this up. Right now, it just feels a little bit thick and consistent. There's not much I can do about the consistency. Um, at this point, but there is definitely something I can do to narrow this edge wear down a bit. So I'm going to increase my convex, sorry, I'm going to decrease my convex range, and then I'm going to increase my level boost, which should have the effect. Of uh, let me just sort of narrow that just a little bit. And then I'm going to add a, uh, a new fill layer, sort of above the paint, by clicking that little paint fill thing. Uh, and this is going to be just something that happens in the roughness. I'm going to turn the rest of this stuff off. And I'm going to name this layer uh, Surface Variation. So any of this stuff here, any of these grunges, I can basically drag onto this roughness thing and they will begin to break up the uh, the specularity there. So I will try really just any of them. It doesn't, it doesn't make much difference. But this is obviously way, way too much. So I'm gonna hop over to the roughness tab, grab that surface variation layer and reduce the intensity very significantly. And then we can also increase the UV Tile stuff a little bit, and you can begin to see how that uh, impacts the surface. And if it's feeling a little bit too too tiley, maybe we'll try a different one. We should be able to uh, just switch these out. So occasionally it wants to be very agreeable, and on occasion it wants to not be agreeable. So let me go ahead and redo this. I'm going to have to. Turn these guys off again. So here's our roughness. So I'll try Grunge 11 this time. Not really liking that one. Yeah, that's a little better. Let me turn the intensity up. So really all I'm looking for is just some something to break up that really clean surface. You can definitely get a little bit tiley if you, you hit the UV scale too many times. But if it's not high enough, it can look a little bit low res. So uh, I think that's probably something that we can kind of live with. We could even add another one on there. Basically just clone this. I'll just hit Control D there. So in this one we are using Grunge 15, so uh, we'll go with something different. And then some kind of linear linear dodge to blend these two together. And now that we've got twice as much going on, I think it makes sense to reduce the intensity a little bit. So now we're starting to get some really nice uh, kind of unpredictable irregularity there. So now let's take a look back at this, this edge where at this point it's just really, really consistent, far too consistent for anything that you would probably see in real life. So let's go ahead and we'll right click on the mask and add a fill. And we're basically going to do the same thing. Just going to grab one of these grungy dirt things. We'll increase the tiling and then we'll set the blending mode 
to linear dodge. So now you can see we're starting to break up that uh, that metal reflectivity in kind of a nice way. It's maybe not as as uh, broken up as it needs to be. So we'll just go ahead and add, add another fill here with another one of these grunges. And instead of linear dodge, we can try like a subtract. It's not really making a big enough difference. Look at overlay, we can look at screen. So as you can see, there are so, so very many. There we are, that might work. Do like a divide, maybe kind of reduce these a little bit. So we're just looking for, for something that looks kind of natural. And it's still too consistent along this edge, but we can add a final layer here, which will be a paint. Now the paint is going to use brushes, which we can get to here. The brushes are, are pretty useful. They're a, a very powerful feature. So the way that they are, there's some hotkeys. You can get in here and mess with like the size of the brush. It's hard to see uh, because it doesn't update uh, over here while you're over here. But you can get to that a lot of the same stuff if you hold the control. So you can scroll. In fact, uh, yeah. So so if you hold control, you're basically doing with the with the, uh, the the brush. And if you don't hold control, then you're dealing with the camera. So control uh, middle mouse wheel scroll will zoom in and out. If you hold control and left mouse, left mouse button up and down, you can control the hardness. Uh, control, sorry, that's right mouse button. Right mouse button left and right is gonna be scale. Control left mouse button up and down is rotation and control left uh, mouse button left and right is going to be flow. So you get access to size, flow, hardness and rotation with control and the mouse buttons. So it can be pretty convenient. And in this case, what I want to do is actually paint uh, white because I want to paint that metal out. Not 100%, just mostly. So now we're getting just nice little random hits of that metal and we can come in and maybe paint some more of that stuff in. One of these brushes, this, I think it might be Scratches 5. Let's see. There we are. So this is Scratches 3. And I'm going to paint out some of the uh, some of the paint. That might be a little bit too much. And then we can come in and kind of reverse that a little bit. So anyway, you can you can spend an awful lot of time tweaking the edge wear, painting in extra detail, uh, and doing all that kind of thing, but. The more stuff you can do by layering grunges to get these kind of natural, unpredictable effects, I think the better off you are. So uh, anyway, in the next video, we are going to continue to look at some additional things that you can add uh, to, to increase the believability.